Hello everybody out there on the internet, this is Andrew Salas back to you with another great small business tech tips from smallbusinesstechtips.com and today I'm going to talk to you about PowerPoint presentations and uh, how you could share them over the web with an integrated feature in the new Office 2010 PowerPoint. So let's get started here. I have this uh, sample presentation right here, and let's say you don't have the capabilities to share this over the internet uh, with you know a group of people, uh, whether it be internal colleagues or external clients, anything like that. Uh, Office has uh, put a new feature in here. Uh, you have all these options where you have like save, save as, and uh, open um, in here. The, the other option that, that I want to show you is uh, on here it has broadcast slideshow. Now this is going to require a Windows uh, Live account, so you know Hotmail, Live, anything like that. They're free online through msn.com or hotmail.com. You can set yourself up for one of those and uh, all you have to do is hit this broadcast um, the service right here. Uh, we start this service and it's going to ask us for our account. I already have one, so I'm going to go ahead and type my credentials in here. I'm just going to sign in there. It's going to say preparing broadcast. What that does is upload it to their servers. Give me a URL here. So now all I have to do is share this link. And if you have a tiny URL account, that's a free service as well. You could just go to tiny URL and it gives and it shortens this up. But uh, all I'm going to do is copy it and link it into an email. So I could tell people, uh, anybody that I'm going to share it with, work colleagues or anything like that. All we do is we just copied it and we pasted it in there. So now if uh, the, the person on the other end, you could also say just click here to kind of shorten it up so they don't see the whole thing. We highlight it and then in our insert, we could uh, insert hyperlink, which is right here. We paste it in here. That's another way of doing it. So they don't see the whole uh, kind of URL, they just have to click here. And when they click it, it's going to navigate to this web page right here. So it's waiting for the broadcast to begin. We just hit start slideshow. And on the other side of things, so you can see how this slideshow has started. It says I'm broadcasting, you cannot make changes to it. But if I change the, the tile to it, I go to the next one. It should uh, do the same thing in here if I'm in full screen mode. So if I'm you know, in broadcasting it, I go and make the changes. It does the transitions, everything that I would put in here. And uh, on the same exact web page here, it does the same things. So this is an external thing. Any computer that has internet just goes to that web page and they could see it right there. I hope you found this tip helpful, and uh, I appreciate the viewing. Please comment or suggest any topics that you want in the future, and have a great day.